getting into uh, coaching. Uh, <laughs> Is there a guy named Dennis Wilson for the Beach Boys? Absolutely, yes. I thought it was Brian Wilson. Day 11. What did you say, Paul? I thought there was a guy named Brian Wilson in the Beach Boys. Dennis Wilson was the drummer, Peter. What's your favorite Beach Boys song? Wouldn't. God only knows, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> that was written by Brian Wilson, I believe. As well. Yes. Uh, good Vibrations is something that uh, I've been akin to. That's a good song. Yeah. I'm trying to think of my favorite Beach Boys song right now. I think I like Fun, Fun, Fun. Fun, Fun, Fun is, uh, by the way, Jeff Karen's favorite Beach Boys song. <laughs> and, of course, he is the coach of Durfee. That's what we're looking at right now. Wouldn't it be nice to win? Now you're looking at the Madison Park, who are trailing by nine points. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite Beach Boy song? Ooh, I, I don't know because I wouldn't listen to it. I think my least favorite Beach Boy song. Every time I hear "Come on the Radio," I change the station. Is "Be True to Your School." That is Kokomo. Kokomo. Kokomo is the worst Beach Boy song ever. No, I like Kokomo actually. You would. I don't like "Be True to Your School." Kokomo was a sellout. Uh, it was uh, as non-Beach Boys as it gets. But let's get back to the game. And a layup by Hudson. Well, if they remain productive, uh, they could draw closer toward the end of the game. Durfee looking to slow it down. We'll take the fouls if they can get them. I'm surprised you don't like Kokomo. That's a good song. Don't let it get to you too much. I won't. Pavo with the ball. And he's fouled with 59.2 seconds remaining. Pavo's been at the line more than you have. He is 6 for 8 at the free throw line tonight, so he's faring quite well at the charity stripe. Now, if he's 6 for 8, he was at the free throw line how many times? Seven. This is his fifth appearance right now. And now make it eight for 10, so 80%. It's a good percentage a to have. Under a minute, so all but sealed with a 10 point lead by Durfee. Hudson puts it in for two. That pilot put it in the Hudson, too. Quite a remarkable man. And we've got another personal foul called at this end of the court. And that will be called number 22 for Madison Park, Jamal McCollum. So, lo and behold, look who's at the line once again, Johnny Pavo. It's another personal foul, said his sister was ugly. I don't believe that for a moment. Should be thrown out of the game at this point. Pavo. Nine consecutive free throw shots made in today's game. Ten point lead for the Hilltoppers. 30 seconds left. And Bowden with some fancy play underneath all alone Sonny Mello for two. He'll finish off today with 12 points more than likely. 19 seconds remaining. For three, it's the Cardinals. No good. That was Brathwaite. And we've got a foul on number 23, Kevin Stokes, to slow the pace of the game in hopes that they can somehow account for 12 points in the final 10 seconds. And we'll see the Hilltoppers going to the line once again. This is Matt Bowden, who has nine points on the evening. His one free throw shot tonight was missed. This is where you pull out the naked three throw, which is worth 12 points. This would tie the game. But they've elected not to do it this time <laughs> around. This might be the final shot of the game. Straight up, straight up. Straight up, Jim. Oh. And the game comes to an end. Your final score, the Durfee Hilltoppers defeat the Madison Park Cardinals by a score of 73 to 59. Giving out the BCA game ball, I think that had the Madison Park Cardinals won, I think more than likely we would give that 
A ward out to number 34, David Campbell, who finished off today with 19 points. But I think considering the Durfee Hilltoppers won, we've got to give it to number 13, Johnny Pavo, who finished off the game with nine consecutive free throw shots made in the second half. Once again, your final score, Durfee de defeats Madison Park by a score of 73-59. to 59. Ron, your final thoughts? Well, our hat's off to, to New Bedford. They did a wonderful job today. <laughs> Durfee uh, did a wonderful job today, uh, scoring more points, which usually will yield you the game. Uh, I also want to take my hat off to uh, Paul Mandeville, who is uh, directing his 500th uh, sporting event uh, today. Too bad you're not wearing a hat. For everyone here at BCA Sports, your final score, Durfee 73, Madison Park 59. For Ron Van Dam, I'm Peter Zimbor. We'll see you next time.